Now, if you guys are tired of seeing these Hallelujah Scriptures videos, I am tired of doing them. It never, never ends. And so, Hallelujah Scriptures did get Yahoo and the Torah net taken offline momentarily just for a few bits but the demons are rejoicing over that so we put up temporarily yah scriptures dot online right so i'm going to take you into dmca takedown attempt number 250 now i'm sticking with this number 250 because i think it's actually far over this these guys have non-stop gone themselves and they've also hired people and they have just non-stop going after trying to get the word of our creator offline for a free bible place that's supposed to be giving away free bibles it doesn't really act like this now i'm going to take you to another uh channel that we have that we set up a while ago and we're starting to backfill this and we're going to get this completely up and we also have another bit shoot that is called the hallelujah scriptures exposed so it will be on there. It will also be on Odyssey and it will also be on Rumble. And so there's going to be four of the Hallelujah Scriptures exposed. Now I want to take you to a little song that Ken Wessel, Max Weiss, whatever his pseudonym is, but he is the other half of the face of the criminal enterprise of his wife, Deborah, who goes by the name of Shalom. Now this is a little song that they did in this other grift that they have, which is called the United in Yah where they have fleeced people for at least $300,000 on one event and they are continually fleecing people and they have these sisters events and there are no orphans, widows, or lepers. There are, there's nothing out there like this. This is a complete criminal enterprise and they're, they're fully exposed. Now let's listen before we go over the DMCA takedown of a little song that Ken wrote and published. All right, we do. This is not Maxine, this is Max. Sing us a song. We'll hunt for. We'll try to get. Okay. Right, go I'm gonna sing my personal apology to Yahweh. Sorry, I never loved you. I never really seen you. I never really know. Sorry, I was a liar. The selfish things I done. Never number one. I'm sorry. Yeah, and it is over and over and over, and he continually shows that he is never the one um, when we go down this road. Now, let's take a quick look at this real quick. This is um, from this morning. This is from Cloudflare, and this is our DOS protection, and this is a brand new attack. Right. This is a copyright takedown and you have the copyright number up the top and you have the reporter's name, Max Weiss, VT at VainTraditions.com. That is another one of their book selling organizations and their book, Vain Traditions. Let's read what this says. Um, and also note the reporter's telephone number, which is they're all fake numbers. Um, I don't actually know what that one is, but they do have Skype and uh, maybe I'll publish um, Deborah's Skype number one of these days. But let's continue on. <clears throat> Reported URLs. So they went for the entire downloads directory, right? The entire downloads directory. And the entire downloads has lots and lots of stuff. And um, it's really good stuff. You guys should definitely take it up. So let's read what he has to say. I am writing about a person by the name of Jason Boss who lives in Panama. He has, copyright, he has my copyrighted book on his new website called Vain Traditions. His last website was removed as he was violating copyright of a number of books, and one of them was Mind. Okay, so this is how you know this is probably Deborah that's writing this because she has a third grade education, and she writes as a third grader. And so you can see 13 years of crime in a very uneducated state, and so you can always see that it sounds just like her. I do not offer anyone a PDF of my book. The website that was taken from him with my book was... On it was hosted by Nice Nick. They suspended the website for violating copyright. He then opened a new account with Namecheap and using your company Cloudflare to hide the hosting. He used Cloudflare services for the website that was suspended as well as this new one. We are requesting you to blacklist him as he will continue to violate copyright. This was his last website that was removed off the web. HTTPS colon forward slash forward slash yahoo and the which will be back up 
next week, just so you know. It's on its way out of Nice Nick, and they actually violated their own contractual terms by, by pulling that off. But it was a company based out of China, and because of daily emails by Deborah and Ken and all of the people there, along with them hiring a legal firm called DMCA.com, which guarantees they'll get copyrights off. All of a sudden, these guys are freaking out. And then what they do is they lie to these people and they say, well, he's attacking everybody. He's attacking our little organization. Everybody's it. We have to defend it. Uh, you know, and they, they make it sound like this poor little charity is being attacked. When, in fact, this little poor little charity is ripping the world off. This is where, continue on. This is where my book, Vain Traditions, is offered as a download on this download page. Yahscriptures.online. Please, can you remove this website and content as a direct violation and abuse of my works? And he is mocking me and others who have worked hard for years to write our books. Thank you, Max Weiss. We have forwarded your, this complaint to your hosting provider. Thanks, the Cloudflare team. Um, so there it is again, right? These people are never-ending liars. They do not own a copyright. Guys, there's no copyright on anything. They own one single copyright on the Book of Jubilees. That's it. They own a copyright. They don't own a copyright on the actual Hallelujah Scriptures. They don't own it on any of the books that they have plagiarized and stolen and put up there. They own none of this. And so, guys, share this around. Share this to people you know. The only way that we are going to get these people to stop is by stop sending them cash. People are nonstop sending these people cash. They think they're giving free Bibles away. They think they're helping the orphans, widows, lepers, and they're absolutely not. Hope you guys have a wonderful day. I'm out.